All right, so I'm at the store today and I set up this wiring through the building to make a pass-through charging system. Let me show you what it looks like. Right outside the front of my door, I've got one of these Blue Eddy SP120 panels. And then running across, I've got a wire here that goes through the side of that drive-through building there. And that wire outside goes from that hole right above that nice Bud Light model and it dips down through here and to the EB70 here. So with that setup here, it looks like I'm drawing 41 watts of power right now with just some bad angling to the sun. It's not even like 100% angle to the sun. And 29 output watts that is going to this guy right here. It's the Blue Eddies powering the whoo, Icy Breeze cooler. This is going to keep the drive through just a little bit cooler so it's good to see that that kind of a pass-through system is available with this blue eddy ab70 and right now i think that this kind of a system is more convenient than having to store the energy put it on my car and then you know having the solar panels set up there taking it down you know it's just a lot of work to just well, not too much work but you know it just it gets tedious having to do that routine over and over and over again now Having two panels over there in parallel would be ideal with the 120 thing. And so what I'm planning to do is measure the voltage to my solar panels and see if that's even possible to do a parallel charge to the EB70. Let me break those parallel connectors out in my voltmeter too to measure how much electricity is going through there and it can safely power up that device. So the device that I'm going to be using to measure all this power is this Fluke 101. This one here, it's a pretty simple to use multimeter and that's the reason that why I got it okay it looks like this right here $60 on Amazon but it's really basic and if you're getting a multimeter for the first time and you just don't want to set it up and put it up in the different settings and go through the hassle of remembering which setting to put where to get the right reading something like this is what I've been told would be an easy way to measure wattage and that's what I'm gonna do with this all right, so this is how I have the panels set out. They are currently connected in parallel and I want to see how much energy is being put through there so I can safely make the prediction of if it is okay to plug into my EB70 or not. Okay, so these are the two connectors that I have. Here's the voltmeter. Black on the black, red on the red. Here it goes. I got it connected here and then I've got this one connected here. Just to show you where it is in relation to the sun, okay. It's pretty good. I mean, look at that. It's a nice day like that, yeah. Nice parallel. Okay, so this is the plug that's going to do the magic. Maybe I have to have this connected up over to here and see what kind of voltage I'm getting. I don't know how it's supposed to work here. Maybe the red goes in the middle of here and then the black goes on the outside. I don't know. Let's touch this and see what happens. Two Blue Eddy SP120 panels. Okay, it is charging 45 input watts, 94 watts, climbing 95 watts. Okay, it is definitely giving it some power, 79 watts. It is giving it more juice than it was earlier. It doubled up and nothing's wrong with my machine here. Nothing's fried up or anything, so that's a good sign. So just to recap, is it possible to pass through charge with the EB70? Yes, and you can also connect it up with two SP120 panels in parallel to make the charge work and get more watts into your generator. Thank you for watching this video, this test, and until next time, I'll see you later, okay? Peace.